Wileen programs a message to herself so that when the alarm clock rings, the screen flashes, every day is one day less. Every day is one day less. Jordan tattoos the words, forgive me, in thick black letters down the inside of his arm so that when he looks at his wrist, he will remember to not hate himself so much. What they both keep forgetting is that there is life after survival. After Dave left, Mary started sticking her face between the film projector and the movie screen so that when the credits roll, she still gets to be somebody. When Tara's past comes back, she mashes chalk into the sidewalk until her knuckles bleed. She scribbles and scrapes, scribbles and scrapes until the words take shape, and this is what they say. They say, I want to die, motherfuckers. Die, die, motherfucker. Hold tight if I love you, because it might not last long. Y'all, we are all going to die. That's the exciting part. It's learning how to live for a living. There's the tricky bitch. Just ask Denise, whose family taught her when she came into this world that family equals love. So Denise took that shit seriously. But after a lifetime of craving acceptance from their cruelty, she now finds herself jamming Polaroid pictures of these people into her typewriter, pounding out the last letter of the word mercy over and over again. She strikes the key why, 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 why? And the answer, y'all, the answer, it comes in the form of a handwritten letter from the moon. It says, this, this is brutally beautiful. So are we. This is endless. So are we. We can heal this. Signed, Crater Face. P.S. See me for who I am. We got work to do. But my father, he didn't read moon. He didn't speak moon and he didn't write moon. So there was no note left next to his body when he chose to leave this world on purpose without telling us where he was going or why. There are still days you can catch me, tape recording, eternal silence, playing it backwards for an empty room just so I can listen to a dying wish. Yeah, it's true. And the apple, it doesn't fall too far from the tree. Thank goodness. My family tree was in an orchard on a hill that rolled me to the river, and that river ripped me through the rapids, and those rapids rushed me into this moment right here, right now, with you at the mouth. Y'all, this, this is my church, and if church is a house of healing, hallelujah, welcome, come on in as you are, have a look around, stay out of my porn. There are massive stacks of bad choices in my backyard. Clearly, I have not yet reached enlightenment beyond a few fleeting moments, but I'm trying. And I found something here I want you to have. It ain't much, just a story. But it's all I got. Take it. It's called Dylan. Dylan's struggle choice was more. So he took more and more until the day he woke up babbling in a pool of his own traffic jam, realizing killing off the best parts of himself and claiming he could read people's skin. When he looked down at his heart flap and said, boy, go find your spine and ride it out of here. Wileen's gut said, they boy. Jordan's arms fully forgiven. Mary's face, the endless. Tara's knuckles, healing. Denise's fingertips said, see. See, 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 see. And Dylan said my smile and said, fix it. So I came back here to the mouth of the river to look at my own reflection under the moonlight. See what it says for myself. Where down my whole body it is written, P.S. See me for who I am. We got work to do. As for Crater Face, I don't speak for that guy. His skin, it's a brutally beautiful handwritten letter. Son.